Eric can't get uh, Marika's name right. He keeps calling it Marissa. It's not out of like disrespect. I Eric's literally just don't stupid. even know him, but I don't know why it's happening. It's not out of disrespect. I'm just an idiot. I told Eric to, to increase his production value, so I sent him into the forest. I'm going to stay here and, and monitor from the side, mostly because I'm trying to reduce the impact, well, reduce the exposure to ticks. Oh god, he found a termite mound. We will, Graham will then, after we're done filming, Graham will take us back here. He will then head back up to pick up your footage off of the boat. So she'll need a second card. So you'll need a, yeah, a second card. Then you and Marika uh, will stay there. Graham will run the footage back. Well, that's the same with the Osmo. We only have one card for that. But we will already, we'll dump a bit. Mm. Uh, that is plan one. It's already changed three times. So, um, <laughs> we'll see how the day goes. I've enlisted my dad onto the crew. Hi there. And he's gonna drive for us. You've got a bit of a driving plan sorted out. Looks like you're gonna be bouncing up and down the coast this morning. I got a plan. plan as long as we got a plan. So it's sunrise here on our second day and the plan is to get the teams. Oh look, he's on profile. Excuse me. Can you make him do something? I'll walk towards him. Okay, I'm moving him, I think. That's uh, tick that box. That's the first kangaroo shot of the crew. Did you get the shot? Of course I got the or shot. Or just put the lens on it. I just put, uh, you are, you want me to record it? <laughs> yeah. Somebody get her a battery. Good morning, everybody. This is the crew reporting to you from Australia. I almost forgot where I was, which is a little embarrassing given this is where I'm from. But this is day two of our adventure here. Day one was a little bit chaotic. Um, not exactly sure how I'm going to fix that in the edit for you guys and, and explain that. But what, Dad? Yeah, all right. Good one. A few hours. Have a sleep. Yeah, all right. So as I was saying, day one is very chaotic. Um, kind of just us getting our bearings, uh, trying to get the show out. Because we're hosting a show, we do kind of like vlog for that and then unfortunately the vlogging for this falls by the wayside but we're gonna pick it up and we're here down on this beach at sunrise and we've been filming kangaroos so honestly it doesn't get much better than that but I think um, Eric with all the kangaroos around here and you're filming birds I want to get some duckies Sit up on the grass. At least the ducks will walk around and do a little performance for me. These bloody guys just sit there like a rock. I think Riley's like one foot from one of these damn things and it's just like, uh, I can't be bothered this early in the morning. Move. Uh, we, what I'm gonna have uh, Riley do, she's walking up around here at this RV park where the kangaroos are. I'm having her and Marika push the, the kangaroos down onto the beach here so that we can uh, maybe get some cool beach shots. We can pop them you know, some stuff with teams. And then uh, back here you see the kind of uh, slope, sandy slope going up into the trees here. We're gonna follow teams up on the trail that comes up around this headland and onto more beaches on the other side. But right now we're gonna herd kangaroos. on the headland with the crew and uh, we just were running with the teams. Well that's a nice surprise. We thought they were just going to do a typical ridgeline cresting shot but they've um, ducked down. And now uh, we're popping shots as they try to make their way up and down through a uh, rock line. I believe that's a checkpoint right underneath that. That's why they all have to get in there and under that. Otherwise they'd probably just keep going around so that's something to know. Okay, we want to get them checking in. Got it. Thank you. I, I appreciate it.
Well, what we try to do is uh, get interviews and get information from the teams as they're moving. They don't want to stop. Really, we don't want them to stop either because it makes for sexier, cool footage. And so we were just trying to catch up with them. We interviewed them earlier, wanted to see how the race was going. And uh, we ran with them, let Viv pop up off and continue her questions. If he doesn't, we'll just soldier on until we finish. Excellent. All right. Thanks, Dave. Good race. There he is. I've been hearing a lot about the nav being difficult from the Estonians, from the Swedes. How's it been for you? Uh, it's been a typical freight It's a lot of um, like a bike. Not too hard, I think. The tracks are there, actually. Now we're going to rally up and move on down the course. Marika and Viv coming back right now. backwards into the race where we still have people out on the mountain bike as they were last night. Yeah, okay. They've been out here all night, they're still going at it. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Couple of honks. Come in. A couple of honks. Oh. Eric, do you want to give me the honk? Yeah. So yeah, we got it then. Um, how do we want to do that? We all get all bunched up when I'm kind of shooting along, don't we? Yeah. Alright, I was thinking, um, I was, they came fast, I want to separate them. Right. There's another one coming. Alright. So I'm going to go up and around the corner. Okay. And uh, come across the termite mound. And we don't get to see all of these things during the night, but when it becomes morning and daytime, we get to see lots of amazing things. Now you can see why teams will finish some in four days, some in eight days. It's all an adventure, and the goal for everybody is to finish. When you condense, it is, it is far more digestible. Good. Yeah, it's really, really good. Something in there? There's something in there. You don't like it though. No, I love it. Keep going. Oh, you want to go back on? Okay, slow down. Slow down. Alright, keep going. We're doing our usual filming out the side of the car gig. Eric's upgraded the glide to an Osmo this time. Go, go, go. Not too fast. We can't, not too fast. Okay. All right, now stay with them. Stay right up. Keep them on your corner. Slow it up. Okay, slow it up. All right, just keep going though, but slow. There you go. Let them, let them cycle. We do have time? Yeah, do a side by side. I can't hear you. Do yes, a what? Yes, you've got time. Oh, hang on. Here they are. Oh, yeah, okay. let's go. Pooney, go, go, go. Let's just get past them and we'll get these guys on the next section around the corner. We've got a long run down to the beach yet. Okay. Yeah. Uh, we're sending our team out to hit the uh, first couple teams. We've got Seagate just leaving now. And uh, we're hanging back and we're going to pick up the teams uh, between like four and eight. We're going to uh, paddle just past the bridge here and we're going to catch uh, the second place team and uh, do a little uh, shout out to uh, what we're doing here with the Adventure Center from a very adventurous position. Awesome. Uh, I'm going to turn the boat. All right, been talk. So this is, so this is too late. They have made massive progress over the coast steering section and they're now in third place. However, we believe that Martin, the captain of the team, has a broken rib. Just took the kayak out to uh, roll with the teams as it is. Uh, to be able to get into what they're doing, be part of what they're doing, and uh, bring you adventure right inside the adventure itself. <laughs> 